Yogis, Carleen Rose here, and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a Fist of Fire flow. So Fist of Fire is a fierce mudra where we make fists, uh, generally bringing them to our low belly, sometimes with them a little bit higher, but somewhere in our core, basically just a way to help us channel our deep core strength, and remember to use all that inner power that we have and help bring it to the surface and kind of feel you know, strong when it's fists and fists of fire. So. We are going to use the Fists of Fire Mudra throughout the entire flow. To start, we'll come into our warm-up position, our seated uh, butterfly pose, Vatikanasana. So feet together, uh, they can just be kind of open, gently resting. We're not pressing our knees down to the earth, really not focusing on stretching right now, just kind of letting gravity start to warm up our legs, open up our inner thighs and groin area while we start tapping into our breath. So ground to the earth with your sits bones, Sit up tall, extend through the crown of your head, let your knees just open naturally. I can place book or block, uh, pillow, blanket, anything that you might need if you want to create a little bit more support for your leg. And then take a moment to start activating the Mula Bandha breath. So inhaling here to the base of your low belly, filling this area. And exhale, squeeze everything in and out, exhaling through the nose. Inhale, exhale, inhale. So think about breathing, inhaling in a 360 direction. Exhale as you squeeze everything in and out. So we'll start to add our fists of fire movement. So inhale, reach your hands up, extend. Exhale, we're just gonna do a little baby cat cow. So this time we'll bring our fists kind of right onto our rib cage here, top of our core. Starting to warm up the spine, get a little mini arch here, and then round up the upper back. A few more just like that, really remembering to use the Mula Bandha breath as you're doing this motion. So you're squeezing your air in and up as you're rounding out your spine. Last one here. Now put your feet, uh, they don't have to be together, but feet grounded onto the earth, maybe hip bone distance here. You're gonna inhale and exhale, start doing that motion. This time taking your fists a little bit lower and rounding out more of your spine. I'll turn to the side so you can kind of see that as well. Starting to warm up our core and our spine as we're doing this. Now this time, we're gonna inhale, reach forward. This time as you do fists of fire to the belly, keep your spine long. We're not doing a cat cow anymore. We're gonna lean back and start activating our core and getting more into our core strength. So leaning back as you do that, really activating and using now all of the muscles that we have, our deep core muscles are right along our spine. So we're using those to then activate our outer core muscles. So all of our strength comes from inside out. Do a few more here. Really remembering to make those fists, thinking about using all of your core strength. Last one, hold it here for a moment. Awesome, come back to sit tall. You can come back to that uh, butterfly position and just arch your spine a little, stretching out your belly that we worked. And from here, make your way onto hands and knees, finding just a comfortable position, and then coming to sit on your feet. So a little bit of stretch for the feet, always good to give them some loving, and then we'll take that fist of fire core uh, just a little bit deeper. So you're gonna inhale and exhale. You can sit back down and lean back, if that's gonna be better for you, or you can inhale and just lean back, really activating your quads and your front core. But really 
your memory to lift in and up, lifting tall through the spine. Last one here this time, hold it again. And exhale, sitting back onto your feet. And if you want, you can walk your uh, fingers behind you. You can keep your toes tucked and stretch or if it feels better, come to sit on your feet, arms walk behind you, and again, stretch out that belly. Very nice. From here, strong fingertips into the earth, strong palms. Press yourself back into a down dog. Start with really bent knees. Start to pedal out your feet, warming up your legs. Now have bent knees as you wave your spine long just to create space for your neck and shoulders and then you can press back more into your dog pose and then from there letting your heels starting to make their way naturally onto the earth. You can even do mini waves with your spine to help you settle into that pose. Then from here just lift up onto your toes staying in your down dog. And let your heels naturally make their way back to the earth. Lift onto your heels again. Just giving a little bit of warm up for our feet. Sometimes we ignore them a little, so definitely want to give them some love. And this last time, hold on your tiptoes, bend knees and elbows really deep, wave your spine forward, coming to, into plank. Come onto your knees, lower through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up, using all of those deep core muscles. And exhale, stepping yourself back into down dog. Pedaling out your feet again, very nice. We'll get back into that fists of fire action with our standing flow. So a tiny bend in knees and elbows here, right leg lifts to the sky. You'll exhale, create a lot of space to lift your right knee in and up and step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee, firm foundation into the earth as you roll yourself in and up to your high lunge. Inhale, settle into the pose for a moment. So you're gonna inhale, extend both legs. Exhale, fists of fire lunge, fists come to low belly. Inhale up. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Holding this, grounding your foot naturally onto the earth, keeping a slight diagonal in your hips. We'll come into warrior one. So you want toes and knees in line, hips again are at that diagonal, twisting from your upper body, really sinking into that right knee as you can. And we'll do those kind of baby fists of fire, cat cow here. So inhale, exhale. Again, that fist of fire coming to our rib cage or our top of our core, or our abdominal wall, I should say. Our, our core goes all the way up to our top. <laughs> inhale, exhale. Very nice. This time as you inhale, you're going to open your hips up now to the side. Uh, back foot may need to adjust a little bit, so knees and toes are in line again. You're going to press out into warrior two. Very nice, taking a moment again to settle into the pose. Hips and shoulders are stacked, sinking into the right knee. This time you're gonna inhale, reach up, exhale, fists of fire here. You can even extend both legs, exhale, and exhale, very nice. This time, cartwheel your hands to the earth, strong palms, step back, to your down dog, pedal out your feet again for a moment, and settle into your pose, noticing the difference in your right and left side, and inhale onto your toes again, big stretch for your feet, exhale, sink back down to the earth, inhale, exhale, this time as you inhale, hold it there. Deep bend in your knees and elbows. Wave yourself forward to plank. Come onto your knees and lower to the earth with healthy alignment. 
hips hit the ground first. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale as you roll yourself in and up to your cobra. You can even come to a baby cobra if that feels better for you. And then exhale. Wave yourself back to your down dog. We'll try that fist of fire sequence on the other side. So bend your knees and elbows here. Left leg lifts. Exhale, create a lot of space. Step your left foot to your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Bend your back knee and roll yourself in and up to high lunge. Take a moment to settle into the pose. And from here, inhale, extend both of your legs. Exhale, fist of fire, come to low belly. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Very nice. This time, ground your right foot naturally onto the earth, firmly planting into the both feet. Hips are at a diagonal here and twist just from your obliques and higher into your warrior one. And then exhale, just a little cat cow spine, fists come to your uh, rib cage, top of your waist. Moving slowly through these poses to really think about channeling our deep inner core strength. Inhale this time, opening up your back leg and exhale, pressing out into warrior two. Again, settling into the pose, making sure that your hips are now square to uh, the side of your mat and that you're not leaning one way or the other. You want shoulders and hips stacked. And inhale here, exhale, fist of fire to low belly again. You can even extend both legs in between and then exhale. Inhale last time here. Exhale. Very nice. Cartwheel your hands back to the earth. Strong fingertips to strong palms. Step you back to down dog where you pedal out your feet again. And then take a moment to settle into the pose. You can wave your spine long. You can even take a lion's breath here and sigh while sticking out your tongue. You go, Our deep core line runs all the way from our feet to our tongue. So that's a great way to activate it by doing that lion's breath. From here, you're going to lift onto your toes again. Exhale, let them come back to the earth. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale onto your toes. We'll do one last waving forward vinyasa sink all of that energy that we and strength that we just built in our fists of fire flow exhale very nice now from here start to walk your feet towards your hands and however you want to get there making your way onto the earth coming onto your back we'll come into our resting poses So feet are about hip bone distance apart here. We want you to ground firmly into the earth with your feet. You're gonna inhale, arms extend overhead. As you exhale, bring everything back down, bring fists of fire back to the earth. Inhale, lift up, waving up your spine, coming into that bridge. Exhale with your fists of fire. One last time, really grounding into the earth, rolling, waving up the spine. Exhale, very nice. From here, you just windshield wipe your legs. You can even walk your feet a bit wider and do kind of a reverse wiper. So one uh, knee goes in while the other opens, and then switch. Whatever's gonna feel good for you today. If there's any other stretches you want to take, definitely hit pause and take those now, and then whenever you're ready, you can either come into a reclined butterfly pose, kind of come full circle, or you can extend your legs all the way out into Shavasana for your final resting pose. Either way, take a couple of minutes to just lie 
lion's breath, sigh it out, come to rest on the mat, and just let your body kind of come into this new neutral, taking all that fists of fire energy that you just cultivated through that practice. So hope you enjoyed that flow. Definitely want to see you on the mat again, so make sure you are subscribed uh, to the YouTube channel so you'll get notifications for the new videos. And of course, I have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdios email list, so make sure that you're signed up there as well. Namaste.